We know that music can change the world. It can win campaigns. It won campaigns here in Tasmania, in the Franklin, in the early 80s. Protesters sang anti-dam songs and were watched by police. It's very touching to be back here. 20 years ago, the first job I had when I was starting out as an artist was campaigning against guns who owned one of the biggest wood chipping mills in the world, which is here. Who's gonna swim in the river? Who's gonna and these artists that we've got such a privilege of being with here, they all want their work to make a difference. They all want their art to make a difference. They all care about the planet. Called the Sound Country Retreat and it's bringing together musicians from across Australia who are passionate about environmental and climate issues and wanting to step up to do more to protect our, our climate and our environment. To really encourage artists who are already involved in activism in some way with their art, to support them and help amplify them in their own aspirations for their work through our work at Green Music and also the work at Wella. We've been learning a lot about different frameworks of thinking that inform um, environmentalism and that inform that action that we want to see being taken in the industry to make it more sustainable. I just feel like I have a lot of tools and drive and inspiration to like, you know, use my music as activism, use my platform, you know, connect with others, build community. So it's been yeah, really revitalizing. Everything's very safe. It's in a vault. <laughs> like, we can speak to the truth of what we're all facing, plus speak to the things that we're all really passionate about changing. At the centre of our work is leadership development. So Wella runs a number of leadership development programs to support women stepping up in their leadership. That's what this Sound Country retreat is all about. And this is the first time that we actually designed a retreat just for our artists. We joined forces with our partners Green Music Australia because we believe that music and arts are a very strong vector for change and for touching many people. What this retreat has reminded me of is that the environment has these incredible spokespeople for her within the music industry, these incredible leaders speaking and acting on her behalf. And to me, that, that's hope. Everyone wants to be able to make a change. Everyone is looking for the one thing that will make their practice more sustainable, to green their practice. And that's our core remit at Green Music Australia. But also encouraging these artists to step into their power and recognise they have their own agency to do that. By working together, these musicians working with other women and gender diverse musicians across the country can achieve really significant and systemic change in the music industry and beyond.